All right, so this video, uh, my boy, I don't see his name, something with a B, but Faro, good parking the golden gun, good positioning right here, good line of sight. Ah, uh, you could be just firing some random rockets in case they have a Lucio and they would be there. All right, good, good peeking. Okay, I like your decision, going to the left. There's no right or wrong in terms of how you approach this in the beginning. Okay. Poop was fine. In case he hooked you. Alright, right there. Uh, just small optimization thing. Farah splash damage. When you're killing the D.Va, so right here, when you, need, when you know the D.Va's out of mech, no life, wait like a second or two, just fire a rocket where, right where the right where the, uh, the mech is. Because that actually almost kills her. So she's out right there. When you see that, like, ah, like that diva going, like, ah, in her mech, you know she's gonna pop right out of mech. Just fire a rocket, like, right there where that is, instead of having to track and then kill the small diva. But you still kill her anyways. Good stuff. Oof. Going for the Anna. Good. Ooh. Okay. So there, you got a little bit greedy. You know you got a little bit greedy because you died right there. Um, you didn't have to be so close. And obviously it's a little easier to fire rockets and kill if you are that close. But you could have been more like like up in that vicinity where it would have been harder for the Zenyatta to kill you. Like you know you were just uh, just like finishing up frags but you probably shouldn't have died there. Like you were so close, you were right in his face. Like he couldn't have missed that, you were like giving it to him, you are giving it to him. Flash forward a bit, okay. Your friends are all dying, you're sad. There's not that much you can do so you're backing up. Okay good decision to back up. Let's talk about. You guys are just waiting, grouping up. All right, so you have ult, so you're looking for a good ult positioning here, but they're focusing you pretty hard. They they know that you're coming. They're like, no. This ain't happening. Okay. Uh, questionable, questionable. There are some situations where I do that, but, but um, you could have gotten more value out of your ult. And I know a lot of people would have said that, but but there are times where I just solo ult like a Roadhog or something, and that that makes the fight like six v five, and you usually win that. But but that was questionable because there were better opportunities for you to ult, and you were a little out in the open because you were right in front of the enemy team, so that's why it was questionable. Not because it was a solo ult and Roadhog. That's like that's not the worst defense. Switch to soldier here. That's fine. I like soldier. Let's talk about why you switched to Soldier. Let me try to think about that. You switched to Soldier because you, you weren't having a lot of impact on Pharaoh. But the first two times that you died, so when you were ulting and when you um, got killed by the Zenyatta, is, is because it wasn't their fault that you died. It was your fault that you died. Just in terms of positioning, where you could have been, where you were. Again, th this map is a little hard for Pharaoh only because it's a little more open. But um, you have to play really, really sneaky just, just in terms of like with these walls right here these pillars and you don't want to be so in the open but you switch the soldier that's fine um, but just just in like the future you could do a lot better with Farah, just by thinking a little more about your positioning and not being too in the open or too greedy you want to play with your team a lot more in this map i think not bad uh a little sloppy with your right click but that's fine okay not much to say there I know you guys lose the map, that's fine. Moving on. Beat down Boulevard, that's my man, beat down Boulevard. Alright, so you guys are going top right, that's good. Using that doorway, that's good. Keep running, my man, keep running. Just fire down shots, you know they're coming. Alright, see the fair up there, pressuring her, good. Nice shots. Working on Ryan Shield, that's good. You don't have to be so close here. If uh, Soldier has a has a really good like range, you're you're in a hookable range right now, and you're in just like danger territory where like anyone could die any second. I would like to be a little more. I would like to see you a little more, like near the bridge, if you know what I mean. Like a little more left, a little farther away, where you're still doing a lot of harassing, but you you're not in like a as killable place, if that makes sense. 
Okay, so you have your Ryan, so that's fine. And and thankfully your team won that exchange. But if the other team was a little better, they might have traded or like gotten more picks. So you wanna be in the best positioning that you can. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's talk about positioning here. So you go up to get high ground, which isn't bad. Good, good, good. Probably should have killed that Pharah, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Things happen. Oh, you're so close to that Roadhog. It scares me. Y yeah, well, especially once that Zen ult pops, you want to get out of the way. Uh... I don't think you needed that attack visor. I, I think that was a that was a waste of attack visor. Why? Like two seconds before you used it, you see that your McCree got two kills. So, right there, right there, two kills, and then you pop your ult. So you really want to be ever so cognizant of your ult usage. Like that could have won you maybe the next fight. You know, that maybe would have lost you to fight or something. I don't know. Little sloppy. Try to um. Try to work on your burst firing a little more. If we get to meet up or something, uh, we can practice that. But just like three, four shots even. So now it's a little spray and pray. Not that that's the worst thing you can do. But, ooh, okay. All right, taking high ground. You're not firing as much as you can. You're, you're, you're trying to work on your positioning here and like trying to get a little too close but you could have been on that bridge the whole time you know just firing down and getting old charged you could have been up to like 50% uh, already if you were just like here the whole time see this is where you have beautiful line of sight like the Ryan can't cover everyone because he's moving up a little too much shame on you Ryan um, but you could get like beautiful firing you should have been here the whole time and there's no reason for you to drop I don't know why you dropped uh, they are moving forward a little bit, but you could have even like backed up on that bridge or something. You don't have to give up your high ground. That's one good reason why. Like, if that diva thing didn't happen, your diva saved your butt basically because you would have died otherwise. Uh, I guess I guess Lucio all too, but you guys just had really good ult advantage here. But again, it's not about winning; it's about improvement. That's the name of the game. All right, cool, cool, cool. So what did we learn that game? Uh, I think a lot of it's just positioning, even with your Farah. Uh, you don't have to be so close. I, I, I think with Farah and Soldier, you tend to get a little close, uh, probably to like get easier shots off or something, but you don't have to be that close. You don't have to be that close. You can try Farah again, my man. I like Farah on this map, I do. Can be hit or miss sometimes, but when it works out, it's pretty nice. Uh, did you not use your Concussion Blast getting out of here? I should have used Concussion Blast. Just get there like two seconds earlier or something. Okay. Okay. Okay, not bad. A little sloppy. A little sloppy with that uh, boop. A little too hopeful. You can actually aim it like down at the ground here. Or, or there's even like a nice wall that you could like aim it off of. A little hopeful because it went all the way to the corner. All right. Uh, I hate divas. She just wants to sit on your face, but she definitely overextended like crazy, which is good for your team actually. Yeah. Yeah, she was trying way too hard. Okay, not the worst boop, but we're not worried about that. We're worried about positioning. That's the name of the game. Okay. You could be up in the air a little bit more. Okay, so right there. You're on the ground a lot as Farah. You just want to be up in the air as much as possible. Just like very general but good rule of thumb. Like you have your jump jet, just like fly over this this right side. You don't have to go through this walkway right here. You could fly over that uh that thingy on the bottom, like this thing right here. And I like to use this a lot just to like peek out of. Okay. Okay, I, I actually like to be a little more aggressive in my positioning here. I know before I said to be safer, but I like to stay a little bit more here. Hmm, 
let me think about that yeah just just to see where they're coming out from because right now they're they're just starting to come out maybe like one or two people and if they're coming out here i could fire a few rockets it's a little dangerous okay you're, you're just your positioning is not that bad sorry i'm just trying to think about how how can we on this map maximize your impact as fire because you're able to peek out of that that wall like really nice and you have your ryan right there obviously he backed up now but okay good uh conk to save yourself even though the fire wasn't that heavy okay here's where you want to you can start to be pretty sneaky yeah okay so what i mean by sneaky is i i noticed right here that a fight's starting to break out between like so this is like a pretty big like just straight on like head-to-head -head fight and this is my signal as far when i see this happening that like i can get into good positioning and like do work you know especially if they don't see me coming so that that's good positioning you get like above them i would have liked i feel like you're using this pathway a lot and that's just so ooh, so that's, that's good. Uh, so you're using like this a lot but you could be using this a lot more if that makes sense because you could abuse that wall like no other that that's like free cover for you right there and you would have had much better line of sight for your ultimate also uh, I thought your team was gonna clean up, but it looks like they're dying. Yeah, good call to back up. Okay, see, concussion blast, you should always be doing that. Oh, hurry. Uh, ooh! That was a really good boot. That was a really good boot. Okay, you might have, you might have saved, yeah, I think you saved that free team. Good stuff. I, I was gonna say you were a little aggressive, but when you were like going in, but but you managed to save that for your team, so that's good. Uh, Gamer Cree was crazy. He fed. Good boop attempt. Um, I feel like I'm gonna die here. Just in terms of numbers. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't that much you could do about that. Let's see in terms of positioning if you could have, could have done anything better. I mean, you're you're already down one. When McCree fed, that's where the McCree fed. So here, you guys probably should have just backed up a little bit. It's like McCree's almost respawned, and their brother's starting to come in. So Anna shouldn't have been there. You. Could have used the maybe could have used the pillars to like block the ult or something, but again there there wasn't that much you could do in this fight. It's fine. So you go to tracer. I don't know why you go to tracer. Why do you go to tracer? Why are you go? Uh, okay, I can see why. Maybe you're feeling like a little pressured from the other team. That happens. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I think you know what you did wrong there. You shouldn't have been right in front of the Roadhog. You don't want to be out in the open. Obviously. But with Roadhog, you want to even, like, try to bait the hook out, because you know you knew the hook was coming out. Usually Roadhog, so pattern for Roadhog, if you're Tracer or Pharah or whatever, if he's eating his little food thingy, you know he's going to... So this is what he's going to do. He's going to eat. In situation one, he eats, he hooks you. Situation two, he eats, he fires a shot, then he hooks you. So it's either one of those things. In any case, you don't want to take a shot or be hooked on, if that makes sense. Hooked on. Um... So you want to bait that. You knew it was coming. You had a blink, I think. You could have you could have saved yourself. That was just pretty poor positioning. Okay, so did you learn from your mistake? You're going with your team. Alright. You could probably go middle, yeah. You're a little slow, though, because you weren't very decisive on that. Clock's ticking down. I wouldn't have blinked to safety. I would have just popped that on like the hog or like tried to get the anna or something. That might have been able to carry the game, but a lot of your team just died. So with Tracer, 
your ideas are right that you want to be flanking around and creating crossfires and all that, but your timing is pretty off. So you shouldn't have died by that Roadhog there. And by the time you like went into the other team, they didn't even care about you. Like as Tracer, you weren't doing really anything. Um, all the damage you were doing was being healed up. Um, and you, there wasn't just any impact there. So, I mean, if anything, go for the Ana, try to make sure that she isn't like totally focused on healing. Um, and just in general, just make sure your timing your engages, especially as Farah, especially as any, any kind of flanker, time your engages with your with your team. I think that's one of the most important things that a lot of people don't realize. If you're a flanker, you you're not playing a solo game. And I know you you probably know this in your head, but just try to be more cognizant of that. Okay, so you're playing a little safer, which is fine. You know the soldier is on. Ooh. I don't think you could have seen that coming, but thankfully, the hog is throwing. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, there was a Hanzo and a soldier right there. That was a little dangerous. So this map, it kind of seems like you're struggling to figure out like where, where should you really be to have the most impact. And honestly, it's... I just like to focus on the supports, because cause that's, that's who I know I can kill on this map. And like the way I can have the most impact is not by trying to pick fights with their with their DPS or their tanks, unless they have like a junk rat or something, which usually doesn't happen. Um, so you want to try to be thinking about how can I be as sneaky as possible, and when my when their team is being like when their team sorry I'm brain farting when their their team is is busy with my team, that's when I can go in to their back line. As far so I'll probably like maybe go like on top here, go around the building, like and then fire nice shots on like they're probably on the stairs or like right in front of it or something like that. So even as Genji, that's what you want to try to do. Good. So right here, they're busy. Their front line's busy. Their Anna died. So okay, good. So this is so this is exactly what I mean. This is free pick on Zen if he did an alt and if the soldier did an alt. But this is just. Yeah, this is just, um, you can do that much about it, just in terms of ult economy. They just had their ult and you guys didn't. Maybe you could have baited it out, but it wasn't that much you could do. You probably should have known that it was coming, but there's not that much you could do about that. Okay, yeah. Boom, right there. Okay, good. Nice. Nice. So you were you overstayed your welcome a little bit too much. You were there for a while and you, you did great work. You got two picks on a support and on, on their main DPS. But yeah, you were about to get killed. You didn't see the Hanzo. I didn't see him either. But you probably shouldn't have stayed there for so long. Especially on the ground. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. Your team just lost a fight there, even though you got two picks. Okay, so let's just go over some real quick things. It feels bad to lose, but um, I feel like you had a few good moments in that game. But overall, you were kind of struggling to figure out like where to position best, especially as Farah, and as you're playing a lot of other flankers, um, to really maximize your impact. And you really want to think about just. Um, like your your fundamentals are there, you know. Like you're in diamond, that's like you're not a bad player. Um, but I think you just have to start thinking about like even when I'm being pressured, even when the enemy knows I'm coming, like what kind of flanks can I take? So sometimes you're doing the right things, but you're doing them at the wrong time. Um, talking about like your tracer play. Uh, sometimes when you, when you went in with Farah, uh, right thing, wrong time. Other times it was just positioning, like you shouldn't have been that close to the enemy when you didn't have to. Uh, I'm talking about your plays as fair and also a soldier, um, and just in general, yeah, I, th I think your approaches and your engages can be a lot smarter. You want to think more ninja-like, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, but but if you like, um, I know we, we chatted a bit in Discord, so so 
I'll send you this link, and obviously you're watching it right now, but we could, like, go through a few maps and talk about, like, this is how, like, I would engage, or, like, this is how I would engage, or, like, depending on the enemy's, like, co composition, I would go around this route, or, like, this route, or something like that, so those are things that, um, it's just, like, knowing the map and trying different things, so just really think about as Farah, like, all the time, is this the best place for me to be right now to have the most impact, and, like, what is my game plan, and when is like after every death think about could i have prevented this death and a lot of times where i saw in the video you could have prevented your death um yeah like maybe it, it would have put you in like slightly worse position but you always want to value your life your life is important all right thanks for watching bye